G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the west side of the map, playing as the Chinese in the color purple, we've got Voldemar 1902. Yes, he is back once again, this time without the white vans. That's, that's a that's a vine reference. You guys remember that old thing? And over on the other side of the map, playing as the French in the color red, we've got Pentium Core. Now, I don't actually think this is Core. It may be his brother Pentium Core. I don't actually know who this is. I had a look on the, uh, the online ladder. Uh, this guy at the moment, he's smashing the ladder. I think he's 11 and 2, 12 and 2, something crazy like that. So very high win rate. Both of these guys conquer three players. Uh, actually, I think at the moment, Voldemar might be conk 2. Uh, but Pentium Core, quite a, uh, a high rank player. Now, before we get into the action, of course, this is Ancient Spires. But it's important I tell you something else. We've got a special guest today. We, we, we may have a special guest today. Uh, we've got somebody joining us, just hanging out in the room. You may hear him occasionally chirp in with a little burp or a little bit of a... He doesn't really fart that much. He, he mainly burps a lot. Uh, but yes, it is uh, It is my gorgeous little son. He's four months old, and uh, he's slowly learning Age of Empires. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, he is a China main, or at least he will be a China main as well. Uh, it is uh, It is all about keeping it in the family. But uh, yeah, he's, he's just chilling out. Mum's up here with him as well at the moment. So uh, they're, they're just watching, minding their own business. I said, well, come hang out for a cast. And so here we are. So let's talk a little bit about this matchup, about what makes it an exciting matchup and what makes it a bit of a hard matchup for the Chinese, at least in the early stages of the game. And the number one thing that's going to be difficult to deal with is those knights, those pesky bloody knights. One of the things that haunted me for many a month were knights in this matchup because it is just absolutely... Well, I don't know if you guys can hear that. I, I can hear... We got a, we got a little, a little boy. Hey, little fella, he's coming up right now. Hey, little buddy. He's right here next to the microphone, but he's just chilling for the moment. You all right, mate? He's, he's having a good look at the screen. Let's, let's watch the horse go around. Hey, buddy. Oh, look at that. It's a horse. There you go. Hey, what do you reckon of that? There we go. That's how we enhance our cast in 2022. That's how's that for creative for you guys? So let's talk. <laughs> All right, he, he's he's going to bed now. It's it's getting late. I think it's seven thirty. So it's it's almost bedtime for him. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think one of the big things that I always had trouble with. What? Oh gosh, one of the things I always had trouble with this matchup uh, was Chukunu's not being particularly effective. Oh lord, what do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? We got ourselves a proxy barracks. Now this makes a lot of sense on this map in particular, and this gets counted out immediately uh, by Voldemar. So doing a decent job here in, in trying to hide it, but at the end of the day, he just lets Pentium know that oh, Pentium, sorry mate, I, I'm I'm aware of your barracks, and you're going to have to try a different strategy. But it looks like he's going to be committing to the strategy. Spearman going to be moving out now. He hasn't actually spotted anything. He doesn't know anything at all about Voldemar's base. So I would suspect he's going for a dock, but it's a double barracks open in the Dark Age. We are witnessing it right here. And take a look at this. Doing just, he's not even fishing on docks. He's just actually fishing with the shore fish. And I do like this. This is actually pretty smart. Using the French here as well, getting those cheaper mills makes a lot of sense. But we see the second racks now coming up as well. Beautiful double proxy racks here. Voldemar going to have a little bit of trouble. We can see he's stacking up the food at the moment. Doing, going with the classic Drongo builder now. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's dropping down. Oh, the timing here is absolutely impeccable right now from Pentium Core. Villagers going up against the scout as well as the spearmen. Going to have to fall back for the moment. He manages to get that scout out of there. But take a look at this. We've got problems in paradise, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, I'd be cancelling this. And yeah, you got you got to redo it right here. Uh, you, you ain't getting that bad boy up. So beautiful early aggression coming out from Pentium Core right now. Uh, he's looking pretty strong. But uh, yeah, the, the big thing that, that honestly that I hated about this matchup was just the knights. Knights have got three base armor, and then you get plus one for four armor. Chukunu, oh god, there's a tower coming up. <laughs> Chukunu have got uh, four damage, and plus one takes you to five. Uh, and so essentially what that means is that you're always doing one damage to knights. There's a very small window where you can do two damage to knights, but that is an incredibly small window because French do love to get that blacksmith out very quickly. So basically it means that you're forced to do knight, or well, you're forced to do horseman spearman as your response. You can't really play Chukunu, and because you can't really play Chukunu, you're disincentivized to go for a um, for a Song Dynasty. But we can see right now that uh, a lot of trouble right now for the, for our Chinese players trying to age up to the next age. But uh, Pentium Core just continuing to pound, ground and pound right now. Look at the Spearman here. He's trying to burn this down. I can You can see the, the number here. I can't zoom in on it. It, it just stays the same because it scales with my zoom. 
Uh, but uh, it, it is, it's not looking good. And now that outpost, two villagers, a second vill getting pulled for that. He's going to get up as well. He jumps inside that, shuts down the wood line. Second wood line's right here as well. So now he's got no wood lines. And Voldemar is not in a good position right now. What is this French build order and where can I buy it? Villager almost going down, my lord. Look at this. He, he, it, you know what's crazy is it's like, it's a common, it's not a combination. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, if you just committed at the beginning to like building this with 10 villagers, it would be up by now and we wouldn't be having this issue. But obviously we, we are having this issue because we didn't commit because we thought we could get away with just a few villagers here and there. But looks like the scout going to go down. He's going to be able to take out another spearman as well. So good night, sweet prince. And we do hear another outpost slowly moving forward, creeping forward here with this villager. Now, he's going to be able to take out the villagers here, but fortunately for Voldemar, he will be able to move around over to this position. Barbican will protect this pretty well. But I'm going to say this opening coming out from Pentium Core has been absolutely brutal. The double barracks opening as the French against the Chinese. I don't think many Chinese players will expect that, especially considering Voldemar didn't actually go for water himself. He was not interested in it. You know, very, very typically, we do see players look to get a dock up on this map. Voldemar said no. He said, no, I'm going to stick it to land. He stuck to land, and he still had that many issues. So... Very, very curious to see, but plenty of vills coming out. Villager actually going down right there. Pentium losing a, a villager. Very, very painful for him, but he does have a, uh, a, a slight villager deficit at the moment. Age up going to be coming through shortly, you'd suspect, within the next minute or so. Uh, he's going to begin gathering up that gold. Now, how does Voldemar react from here? Because this is such a difficult position to, to come back from because you don't really know where you're up to. You don't really know where your enemy's up to. You can see he's got a lot of villagers right now in queue. I'd love to cancel four of these and drop down that Imperial Academy. Try and get to that Song Dynasty ASAP. But remember, even if you get to Song Dynasty, you're producing at 1.5 TCs, and he does do that, so correct decision right there from Voldemar. Uh, you are producing faster from uh, your town center, but it does take more food. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, because he's playing against the French. You do want to outboom them. We do see him go for archery range here, which I, I really do feel like uh, is probably the wrong choice, but... By the same token, we know that the enemy has got spearmen, so it seems like the, you know, if your enemy's got rock, you might as well play paper. It just, it makes sense. You don't want to go scissors when your enemy's already got the uh, the rock. But uh, archery range is going to come out. I, would be, I wouldn't be surprised if he just supervises out, you know, two or three archers. That'll be it, because you can see there's still plenty of units around the backside here. Uh, but uh, at the moment, resources not the healthiest for him. And we can see a, a, a little quick wall attempt going to be coming through. He's not going to make the first one. Second one he tries. He's not going to make that one as well. Nope, the charge comes off. Spearman making their way through once again. And Voldemar heading back to the pavilion. Still no archers coming out from this archery range. Voldemar a little bit asleep at the wheel right now. Another outpost going to be coming down. And he needs... He's actually going to go... He was waiting for Chukunu all this time. Chukunu don't get a bonus against archers. Or rather against Spearman. It's archers that do. But he looks to... It, I, I would almost say a bit of an anchor right there. A cognitive anchor. A cognitive bias uh, towards the desire for Chukunu. He's really thinking, I need to get Chukunu. And because of that, he doesn't get archers out. And now he's in a bit, bit of a tough position. Just outpost after outpost after outpost. Now he can move down towards this position. But the, the, no, the consequence of not having that wood is really going to hurt him. He does get a drop off. But still, still not going to have enough to throw down another. Uh, so might even have to think about straggler trees on the main TC could be an option for him but this is so damn difficult playing in a position like this just getting crammed from every side because take a look over at the french player he's absolutely fine in his base he's minding his own business he's in the feudal age or rather he's in the dark age we're still in the dark age right now for eight minutes and 30 seconds age one he doesn't care right now and keep in mind this guy's insanely good I if i remember correctly he's top 40 on the ladder and just a huge win rate like 12 and 2 on the ladder at the moment so insanely good insanely talented player knows exactly what he's doing and now looking to bust through on the, uh, on the outposts, on the south side of his base, looking to try and clean this up. We see a couple more spearmen moving around towards this position. He's locked down plenty of space here, but he's going to be able to take down the uh, the village account a little bit more. We see it's going to be a spearman inside. He takes out... Oh, my! I was going to say, there's no way he does it. He takes out the scout and then almost gets in to the outpost. There's a couple spearmen moving back towards this position. They might be looking to try and help out. He gets a little bit of a surround. One of them makes it inside. Second one makes it inside as well. He'll be able to focus down the low health villagers. We can see them looking to try and run back now. Mochikunu sounds like in production at the moment. Indeed they are, but he's rallying them towards an outpost, which is just killing them. Imperial official, don't do it. Don't do it, Imperial official. No! For 47 tax. I mean 47 tax. At, le at least it wasn't two tax. You know, if there's one thing I know about Imperial officials, it is... <laughs> I fucking hate Imperial officials, dude. Fuck you, man. Look at this bastard. Just sitting under... <laughs> like, he just goes and kills himself. For what? For what? I hate it. I hate it so damn much, man. Outpost trying to go up. 
He's, he's doing a pretty decent job here, but the Chukunu on the backside is slowly melting through the villager. Outpost going to maintain its integrity. And Voldemar gets pushed back. We're now seeing a 10-minute Dark Age coming out from Pentium Core. And finally, the School of Cavalry goes down on the front line. Pentium Core, what are you doing right now? This is absolutely ludicrous stuff that we are seeing out of Pentium Core. Who is this guy? This, I'm sorry, but we, we got to start something big right now. This is, who is this guy and where did he come from? I want to know because this is, uh, this is greatly exciting me. This, this is kind of terrible in a, in a bad way because Voldemar's an incredibly talented player. For anybody who's unfamiliar with Voldemort, he streams over on Twitch. Uh, he was originally, I think, about gold, and he was just chilling out there for quite a while. But then he said, you know what? I'm going to take this seriously. I'm going to grind. I'm going to get better. And he played like 20 games a day, and he's, he's just climbed the ladder massively. He got to Conk 3. He got inside the top 50. He's a really, really solid player now. And I, I'm confident. I, I honestly think if he really grinds out, I don't know how much time he's got on his hands. He's quite young. I suspect probably a university student. But if he's got the time for it, grind out, he'll be at the next one alone for sure. Mark my words. But behind this, we do see Pentium Court looking to shift over to stone. So it could be arrow slits, or it could be something a little bit more sinister. Perhaps a town center. What if he does a forward TC? Imagine if he does a forward TC. It wouldn't be out of the question. It honestly, honestly, with a, with a school of cavalry coming forward like this, it's not out of the question. We do see a knight now in queue. I'm calling it now. I reckon we see a forward town center. Uh, Ira, does he do a TC drop? Like, where do you put the TC? Like, right here or something? You know, TC drops aren't as good as they used to be. You used to be able to do the Mongol TC drop really effectively. Even after it got nerfed, you were still able to do it. But now that town centers can change, like, where or where the uh, villager comes from... Actually, were you always able to change where the villager comes from? I think you were. I think the town center could always rally. It, it never... It didn't come out of a specific area. Never mind. I'm, uh, I'm a bit special. Knight number one is out now for Pentium Core. He's doing a decent job of just keeping... Voldemar in his base. Voldemar still really yet to move out, achieve anything just yet. We do see arrow slits now coming through. Going to be extending out the range of this outpost. Take a look at this. This is where it's really going to start to hurt because that now gets extended and it's going to be able to focus down villagers. And we see them every time that they come in for a drop off right now. They're just going to get hammered down and Imperial Official, don't do it, Imperial Official, don't do it, Imperial Official. It's not worth it. It's not worth the gold. And the second Imperial Official goes down. This is becoming more of a meme than I've ever seen before in Age of Empires 4. This is... <laughs> now it's now you're doing him dirty. Don't do him like this, Pentium Core. It, he's pulling out all the stops for us today. This is beautiful stuff coming out from Pentium Core. A little bit of a forward, uh, forward mill. I do like this play from him as well. Very, very smart move. Mill going up for Voldemar on the defensive. So how does Vo what does Voldemar do to break this? How does he play this? How does he possibly win this game? I don't know. I've got no clue at all what you do in this position. The best thing I would be doing is like trying to do what he's doing right now. So going for that push, you know, you've already got that Chukunu mass. Now I wouldn't have gone for Chukunu in the first place. I would have gone for Spearman uh, and Horseman. And if your enemy's making Spearman, you just make Spearman and fight Spearman versus Spearman. Uh, that is, I, I would just be going heavily into that uh, and leaning into it and trying my best to, to bust through the outposts with mass spim and mass horsemen. Uh, but that's going to require a lot of food to do something like that. And he didn't have the partic uh, particularly strong start uh, with regard... Oh, oh, God. oh my god, I just realized that outpost denies all of the food. Oh, that's so much food. Oh my lord, all of the food gets denied. Now, I would have put that outpost there. Where would have I put it? Or the mill, rather. I would have put the mill right there next to the town center. So I... Oh, I think he probably would have denied it from me. If he chucks an outpost there, then it denies it. Oh my lord, that is so painful. That's why you put your mills right next to your town center, kids. No, none of this adjacent stuff. <laughs> oh, that is that is really unfortunate. Outpost, though, on this south side. Arrowslit's going to come through. He's not going to be able to push that position. He's going to have to rotate back towards the front side. We see that both of these outposts here don't actually have their upgrades through. And a wall comes through on the back side. So cheeky. So outside the box, Pentium Core. But so strong. And we now start to see Siege Engineering. The potential for battering rams is upon us. What direction does he go? It is, of course, not the Siege Tower route. It is indeed the battering ram route. Let's have a look back in the base now of Pentium Core. See how he's doing as he very clearly needs to drop at least another Lumber Camp or six. It's all right. We, I, I suspect this is probably Vortex or Lucifron, just judging by that. If there's one thing that indicates that it's Vortex or Lucifron, it's not replacing Lumber Camps on the wood line when they cost 25 wood. That is that is a telltale giveaway right there. But Battering Ram coming through. He chucks all of the uh, infantry into the into the Battering Ram. So going to be able to 
Keep them alive for a little bit longer. Knight's coming in, trying to get the charge off. Let's see how good his control is. Not as good as the misters, that's for sure. Taking plenty of hits here. The battering ram not paying attention at all. Voldemar's going to wake up. There we go, finally. But the battering ram's taken plenty of damage, and now he's stuck underneath the outpost with, with nowhere to go. And it looks like the battering ram will go down. Knight's managed to survive. How does he hold? How does he hold this? How does Pentium Core hold this, despite there being so many units? It's just that, that, that tiny little lapse in attention. And this is the consequence. And now losing absolutely everything under this. For what? For what? For a single outpost? For a single outpost, you're going to lose absolutely everything. And now the villagers come out. Villagers, he tries to get repair off. Doesn't actually have the, uh, doesn't have the, uh, the textile upgrade, but still has plenty of units. Needs to be focusing down the spearmen with the, uh, with the outpost. You can see that's what he's doing is shift clicking them down, I suspect. You can see him looking to try and focus through them. More units coming up the rear. But still Pentium holding on. He's down a little bit on the village account, so despite putting on such amazing aggression early, he's still lost villagers throughout this game. He holds on. Knights. Are they making their way towards that outpost? No, he's just looking to clean this position up. Able to do it as well. We haven't seen any chivalry coming through just yet. In fact, let's double check that. Yeah, no chivalry just yet. So playing it without the uh, without the health, the extra health upgrade. And my lord, what an absolutely crazy game right now. Pentium Core. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you came from, but I love your stuff. Keep it up, Pentium Core, right now. This is this is what dreams are made of. This is so, so beautiful stuff right now. This, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Like It's just so unconventional. It actually works. Because people expect you to play standard, and you don't play standard, and they're like, I don't know what to do. And they, then they start making mistakes because you force them to make mistakes. And that's exactly what's happened here. Pentium Core has forced mistakes from Voldemar. And Voldemar, I mean, he's still in a good position, right? He's on 50 vils. He's on Song Dynasty. He's making mad, making mogul moves right now. The issue that he's got is he doesn't know what his enemy's up to. He hasn't scouted his enemy. We see the outposts are now coming up. He's putting them down at, on all corners, actually. That's a mill up there. Villager going to go down. Rest in peace, little guy. So he's trying to get some more line of sight out onto the map, but he's got no idea what's happening behind this. Behind this, Pentium Core could be castle aging. He could be going to a second town center. He could just be doing nothing. He could just be massing up units. He just doesn't know. And that's because he doesn't have the scout out anymore. He lost the scout early on. And he hasn't been able to scout this. I ideally, what you'd want to be doing is checking stone. That's going to be a big telltale sign. You're going to look at stone. You're going to say, okay, only 100 taken off it. But when your enemy's across a map like this, you don't really know if that's the only stone that they've taken. They may have taken stone from elsewhere. But now getting caught out of position once again. Nine Chukunu, six spearmen. And he gets surrounded. Seconds before disaster as the archers move forward and look to try and surround this position. Going to be successful here. Knights, though, going to be careful. Spearmen looking to chase them away. Archers going to be caught out of position here. A little bit of a misplay from Pendium Core. Something rare that we've seen this game. Going to get uh, absolutely shaken down by the Chinese defense. Looking pretty solid here. Continues kiting away. Needs to make sure he focuses down the spears. And Voldemort making a little bit of a mistake right there. Needs to avoid losing these spears. And now once they're down, that's that's it. Plus one's come through. Chukunu going to do absolutely nothing now to these knights. Literally nothing. Well, it's like one damage a pop, but it's still nothing. It is absolutely nothing compared to, you know, what, what a spearman and horseman would be doing. And that's why against the French, you want to be playing that composition. But now the knight's going to be able to hit the wood line. This is where it starts to get scary because the swing for the French has finally come through. What is the French win condition? It is knight superiority. It's when your enemy... And not deal with your knights so you can just run through their base. He's identified that. He continues to produce knights. Another one in the queue. Take a look at the resources. Nothing too crazy stacking up. He's getting economic upgrades behind this. No second town center just yet. But has taken the village elite. Did take out quite a few vills there in that raid. Was it this raid? What? Where did he take the vills at? Because he's got a village elite now. He's up by five vills. Has he dropped a second town center when I wasn't looking? Archery range coming up at home. More archery rangers. He's got three in total now. So really looking to play it out heavily in feudal. Might have to start thinking about siege engineering himself. Let's take a look at the blacksmith. Siege engineering's already through. Never mind me. So definitely the right choice. But having a look at Voldemort, no upgrades whatsoever. Down five fills. Second town center is coming up. But I, oh, I don't like this position on the second TC. Out of all the places, not here. Not when your enemy's playing a heavy feudal. But the thing is, we've got God vision. We know that his enemy is playing a heavy feudal. So it's very easy for us to say, you know, don't put your TC there. But Voldemar just puts his TC here. He's like, well, it's a safe spot. It's underneath my Barbican. This will be fine. Right? Wrong. 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 I reckon right here next to this in the original town center is probably the best spot. Nice and safe. Protected from both sides. Stays alive. Kids alive, do the five. But remember, if you're dead, you ain't doing any fives. 
All right, back towards the center. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that reference. That's an Australian reference for all you 90s kids out there. Uh, we had this like program. It was to for like lo learning how to swim, basically. So it's like uh, kids. I think it was called Kids Alive. And, and the, their motto was Kids Alive do the five. And it was like you had to do like the five things to, to be like doing like to, to to be swimming properly at the beach properly. That sort of thing. Arch is moving in. Anyway, uh, we, we, we move forward. That's where that reference comes from, though. Upgrades finally coming through. We do see plus one as well as plus one defense uh, coming through for Voldemar. Looking to try and get the uh, the uh, emplacement, or not the emplacement rather, but the fortification on this front outpost. Good luck to him because there's two battering rams here. These guys mean business. And the numbers here looking very, very small right now for Voldemar. Needs to try and push in on, on this front side, but there's so many archers and he doesn't have his plus one upgrades just yet. He's got plus one melee. He doesn't have plus one ranged. Wait, what? Wait, what? He doesn't have plus one ranged. Oh, he doesn't have plus one ranged. Huge mistake right there. Going for the melee upgrade instead. Now the town center going to get worked on. It, it took me like 40 seconds to realize. Like, hold on. That's a melee upgrade that he's got. Not a ranged upgrade. That's not what you want right now. You need that melee up or that ranged upgrade rather. But he does hold on. Position still. How is he holding on to this position? How is this tenable at all? This is so damn difficult. He's, he's really stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. An outpost coming up on the other side of this position. Now, I think these guys can actually see over. Somehow this can see over. I, I suspect it's probably... But how is he seeing into here? I just don't get it. He can't... He, he's not that tall, is he? I guess he is. I guess he is. Five units all inside that outpost now. He's going to have to move on. But does have this one that's opened up now. Hopefully there's a wall down here. At least there should be a wall down here. And now it starts to work on the landmark. So we've got ourselves quite the, uh, quite the battle unfolding here. But take a look at this. Two more battering ramps moving in towards that town center. He's taking the villager lead. Do we have textiles in? Still no textiles at this point. Villagers need to be pulled to repair, pulled to take this battering ram down, and pulled to jump in the town center to support against the battering rams. When those units do come in, you want to be focusing down the archers. Nice little job there with the with the villagers. Really nice micro, very swish. But the numbers here, where, where, how's he going to deal with the knights? There's no there's no spearmen. He's got one spearman, three in queue. That's not going to be enough. Villagers now going to get caught out of position. He's able to move in at a third town center goes for Voldemar. Voldemar, you can't be making three town centers when your enemy's in your face, in your base, killing your dudes. That's not how this game works. But still he holds on. Still he su survives. He does not surrender. He does not give up. Town Center staying alive for the moment. Needs to try and take out this battering ram, but I think it's going to go down unless he pulls villagers. Needs to take the villagers from here and to repair the town center. And then these villagers to focus down this, this battering ram. But still the Chokunu able to deal damage here. He's going to make a choice and the town center does go down. The six villas in the town center. The consequence of going for this forward TC and not putting it on the backside is that he loses it. But that could be a good thing for him. It could be a good thing. By losing that town center, he's still got the second one as a backup. So it's, it's, it's not terrible. Somehow the knight makes its way through there. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. But maybe this is actually a decent thing for Voldemar, right? Because if he's got three TCs, he's spending 150 food every 13 seconds. That's a lot of food that you're not spending on units. And as a result, maybe it makes sense for him to lose that because at least now he's he's, he's kind of pigeonholed into the two TCs. Like, hey, just make just make villages from two TCs, please. You're still going to be out booming the French guy. All right. Well, it looks like textiles has come through. Definitely a little bit late on the textiles. Imperial official count at the moment. I see one Imperial official out. Let's try double clicking. Two Imperial officials. Let's, there we go. Yeah, two Imperial officials out at the moment. Obviously a lot have uh, have given up their lives for the cause. That, that single lumber camp was very tasty and desirable. But now this position continues to be fortified. We do see the outpost going to come up. I'd love to see a wall right here, but keep in mind there's a little bit of a hole through there as well. Now the market going up. It's lost a lot of infrastructure this game. Outpost still firing down. We're right on board with Pentium Core once again. Behind this, still no second town center. Finally, plus one range time are going to be coming through for Voldemort. But this feudal game, this is a this is an interesting one to say the least. A 10 minute dark age combined with this absolutely ludicrous forward landmark into three TC Song Dynasty Chinese. I just I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Chokunu numbers. Nowhere to be seen. Spearman numbers. Incredibly small. He's trying to escape it with the battering ram, holding on with an outpost that's fortified. No upgrade on this bad boy just yet, but the Barbican going to be exposed. He's still making villages behind this, I'm sure. No, he doesn't even have the food for it. He's in a, he's in a difficult spot right now. Oh, he does actually have the food for it, just not making them. Gets cleaned up completely. Military advantage right now. Tw 41 military for Pentium Core. One military for Voldemar. 
that is a difficult position to fight your way back from. Let's see if he's going to be able to manage it somehow. This game's had absolutely everything up until this point, so I wouldn't be surprised if we have a, a 40 population comeback, or 40 military pop comeback, rather. Villagers jumping out of the first town center to head to the main one so that the other villas can get in. Smart little moves. All those villagers, he's just he's just throwing them into battle. He's like, get in there, fellas. There's not enough room in here for you guys, so you're going to have to make do with... Uh, with, with uh, being conscripted to the front lines, it seems. But uh, yeah, more villagers trying their best to uh, find safety. Archer's doing a decent job. He, he, I'm not going to lie. He's tearing apart this army with the town centers. The town centers are actually doing it. Look at, look at the damage that he's putting out right now. He's cleaned this up. And now the villagers clean up the, ba the battering rams. He's only 10 villas behind. I'm not saying it's impossible. But it does feel kind of impossible. Trying to take out that battering ram. Really committing here. 14 bills to take out this battering ram. Is it really worth it? You've got to ask yourself. Is it really worth it? He's committed. 11 villagers. And now they're like, hmm, I think we might go gather some resources. Four go this way. Four go that way. He's going to get... Why? Why? 800 stone? You're in the feudal age, Voldemar. You're not dropping any keeps today. Look at the, <laughs> look at the chaos in this space. Poor Voldemar. I can't believe he's gone through all of this. You know, I was talking at the beginning of the game about how I have nightmares with French knights. Yeah, this is why. Well, to be honest, it's not the French knights that have really been the nightmare this game. It's, it's rather just been Pentium Core. This guy is actually the player from hell. I'm going to say it right now. It is the play He's 100% the, the player from hell. I would not want to play against this guy. 10 minute few uh, dark age, nonstop aggression, outpost in your face, double barracks opening, just huge aggression nonstop, and still Voldemar. Hangs in there by the skin of his teeth. Keeps his head up. Looking to try and drive out that enemy. Got a nice little wall up down here. This wall honestly feels so good to have as China. Getting this wall up. Oh my god. But that Ville is going to war. <laughs> that Ville's going to finish off the walls. Don't you, don't you love villager AI? So Such a beautiful thing. Such a beautiful thing, villager AI. There's surely no other way to get to this wall than walking the long way around. It was the only possible way. Spearman at the moment inside the... Uh, Inside the battering ramp. I love that he pulls the Vils here to clear this out. He really wants it gone. He wants it gone right now. Vils gonna fall back now. 32 Vils just casually on, on wood. And he's, he's, I think he's sold a whole bunch of resources. Pentium Core finally reaching the castle age now. 27 minutes into the game. And we got landmark victory approaching on both sides. Both players currently going for landmark victories. You heard it here first. All right, so Pentium Core's aged up. He's gone with the Royal Institute. And this is a landmark that will finish your games. Veterancy, plus two ranged armor, as well as royal bloodlines. Three massive upgrades right now in this matchup. Going to help out his archers a whole bunch against those enemy Chukunu. But the big thing I want to see from Pentium Core right now is more knights. And we don't see that. Why are you going for royal bloodlines if you've only got three knights? Why are you not making more knights? That, those are the big questions that I need answers to. Because if you're going to finish this game, it's going to be with knights. A couple of archers coming out here as well. He's actually mixing in archers. You can see right there, six archers coming out. I don't know whether that's intentional or not, but uh, a, a few of those wouldn't have gone amiss early on in the game. But now just falling back, a, a very rare lack of aggression coming out right now from Pentium Core. Not something that we see often from this player. The player from hell. One of the most annoying players I think I've ever seen. And I, I can say that without a shadow of a doubt, honestly. This guy, the way the way his play style is, drives me crazy. I would hate to play against something like this. You know, I, I remember in Age of Empires 3, there was a guy that played exactly the same way. His name was Mashed Potato 72 And I casted a couple of his games. Go, go and watch those if you're a fan of Age of Empires 3, because they are classics. And I feel like Pentium Core is exactly the same as that Mashed Potato 72 guy. Uh, it was just... It, it was just a complete ludicrous strategies that are coming out. Uh, and it's it's the exact same thing that we see right here. Archer's going to get found out on the backside. Pentium Core going to be forced away from this uh, this back location. He was trying to be annoying up here. Double stone up here, by the way. Uh, he's already exhausted that big one on the front or almost exhausted that big one on the front. Uh, so Voldemort could be thinking about going up to the castle edge and getting, dropping a keep. But even then, I mean, no. Right? Like, what, what do you achieve with that? Where are all Voldemar's villagers? Is he just not making vills anymore? Wait, is he got... He's got nine vills in there. Oh, he's looking to try and take out the archers, I guess. So, what's Voldemar's game plan? Because his enemies reached... His enemy reaches Castle Edge, and he, he feels behind at this point, right? And we can very clearly see from the score that he is 100% behind at this point. 
So I think number rule number one, try and wall up. You probably want to try and get Castle yourself for Veteran Spearman. I think that's probably the best choice. But Veteran Spearman and a Nest of Bees. I think that's probably the only thing that you could do to survive here. He's had to do a massive farm transition and never feels good to do farm transitions as China. But they did come through at 30 minutes. So, I mean, it, it's it's probably not the, the worst time on the farm transition I've ever seen. It's pretty decent right there. But he's going to have so much trouble defending against these veteran Royal Knights when he is in the Feudal Age himself. Uh, veteran Royal Knights can actually just defeat Hardened Spearmen just one for one on cost. Uh, it's, it's not even close. Spe when you throw in the Royal Bloodlines, like, it, it's, it's not even close. They're so damn strong. Uh, you, you really need something to back them up. Or you just need to outnumber them a huge amount. And he's going to try and hold on. But there, there's no real holding on in this position. There's a, there's a minor uh, economic lead. There's a huge tech lead. And there is an absolutely huge military lead. We saw it earlier in the game. Where Pentium Core was able to overwhelm his enemy with sheer force. And take the game out. And I can't help but feel like the same thing is going to be happening here. Landmark victory approaching for both of these players. So obviously, only Pentium Core looks really set on it becoming something for him. But more villagers getting pulled now. We take a look, at, and Voldemar was definitely thinking about aging up. You can see he's stacking up about 600 of each resource, but still struggling. The, the timing of this push was kind of perfect. A wall at the front would have helped him out a huge amount, slowed down the enemy, even 30 seconds or so. Maybe that's the 30 seconds you need to get up. Maybe it's the 30 seconds that you need to get out a couple more units, but even then, you know, it, it, it's so hard fighting this matchup against the French player when, when they've got this many knights and they've got the Royal Bloodlines as well. Just able to clean it up, and we see him once again. Down on four military pop. Is there any way he pulls this back? I I, I can't help but feel like there is. There is. Pentium Core is just absolutely... Oh, no. Oh, no. No, don't do him like this, Pentium Core. Where does he put it? Where does he put it? Does he, does he go like... Does he go right here? Siege Workshop. Maybe... Uh, I mean, he could do it right there. No, he's, he's not going to actually do it. He's just going to call a good game. Pentium Core victorious. What an absolute game. The player from hell. The, th that's going to be one of the most annoying players I've ever seen. Pentium Core, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you're from. But hats off to you, mate. That was impressive stuff. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And go check out Voldemar. I'll leave a link in the description.